Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and do a, another video on how to uh, tether your um, older Android device to your new um, Arcos uh, Gen 8 tablets. Um, I will be using my Arcos 101 today, but this should work for any of your uh, Generation 8 tablets that is running the Android software. Um, I will have to warn you that um, you will need a rooted uh, phone for this. Um, you can search for how to root your device on the internet. There'll be thousands of um, uh, hits that should come up on it. Uh, just to let you know that um, if you do root your device, it will void the uh, manufacturer's warranty. And by tethering, um, once you root it and by tethering your your phone to your Arcos, it could violate your uh, terms of service or contract through your cell phone carrier. So you may um, want to check on that before you actually start tethering. They can hit you up with some massive, uh, you know, the charges. Okay, to begin, you're going to want to download on your phone a app called Wireless Tether for Root Users. Once you've downloaded this app and have installed it on your phone, if you go to your menu, you can select the Wireless Tether you'll notice that up in the upper right hand corner it's saying Wi-Fi we cannot transfer we cannot uh, transmit in Wi-Fi you'll need to go into the menu menu settings under setup go to use Bluetooth check that box once the Bluetooth is on and has been connected you can back out you'll now be able to press the uh, little green icon and start the Bluetooth. It's now going to ask you that uh, Bluetooth uh, permission request. You can go ahead and uh, transmit yes and you'll notice up in the upper left hand corner there is a little um, Wi-Fi signal and a Bluetooth activation. So now we can go ahead and set this off to the side for the time being. Now comes the Arcos unit. If we go to the menu button under menu and settings we go up to wireless and networks. Under the wireless networks we want to go down here to cell phone tethering. If we click on that you'll see there are two choices. Bluetooth and USB. We want to cl uh, click on the Bluetooth radio button and under this screen you'll see where it says pair a device. So we go ahead and we hit pair a device. We check the little box on the right and we wait for it to turn on. And now it's starting to scan for devices. Our phone now shows up in the uh, bottom of the screen. If we click on this, it will say pair with our droid. We'll notice that on our phone it also says pair with the A101IT. We hit pair on both devices and now if you look you can see now it says paired. Once we do that we can back out of here and we go to the previous screen where now we see that the droid shows up. So we select it and it tells us about the uh, tethering has been configured and we can go ahead and hit the next button and now under our profiles we can see that it shows a Bluetooth symbol and the droid and that radio button has already been clicked so now all we have to do is check the tether box. You'll hear on the phone it'll vibrate when it's connected Once the phone is vibrated, you'll also notice up here in the upper right hand corner there will be a Bluetooth symbol and a little cell phone icon. We should now be able to go back to our home screen and we should be able to choose our browser. And uh, if we go to, we'll just reload this page. And as you can see, um, it is relatively. Uh, it is relatively fast. 
And just to give you a uh, speed test, I did download the speed test from speedtest.net. And we can go ahead and begin the test. Looks like we're going to have a download speed this time of 789 and an upload speed of 512 which is not very it's not bad at all for a uh, Bluetooth wireless connection so there you have it folks um, that is how we pair our uh, devices together using our Bluetooth signal and our older ad hoc um, cell phones um, to shut the, uh, the, the device off all you'll have to do is turn off your Bluetooth from your uh, main widget screen and you'll notice everything turns off um, to reconnect at a later time you will not need to go through all that you just go to your widget and you'll notice the the little cell phone icon if you click that you'll notice that these two here will light up in light green and it takes a few seconds for this to, to work um, you'll notice now that it has connected and you're good to go you're right back connected again so I hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll have some other videos coming up especially the one where you just see me swipe on how the uh, home screens change different uh, things and stuff from different screens that'll be a next uh, video so I hope you enjoy this video much better I think it looks a lot better thank you and have a good one